Hey guys, welcome back to Malt Mondays. Today I'm taking a look at the Balveni 15 year old single barrel. So originally this was an ex bourbon barrel whiskey and now they've done ex sherry. So essentially what they do um, is they mature it exclusively in a European oak sherry butt. So it's European oak. It's nice that they clarify that. Um, and then our malt master carefully samples aged whiskeys cast by cast. He only selects a uh, single malt. He will only select single malt characterized by dried fruit sweetness, rich oak spice to be bottled as the Balvenie single barrel sherry cask. Um, these are non chill filtered and they're higher percent ABV releases than the normal uh, Balvenie. So it's released at 47.8% ABV. Um, so you're getting extra ABV there, non chill filtration, all Balvenie is natural coloring, um, so it's ticking all the right boxes. But there is one area of confusion, uh, despite this kind of like transparency where they put the cast number that it's on, they label the bottle number, um, and they let you know that there's only 650 bottles per cask at maximum uh, being made. But there's one thing. So um, if you look at this, and I'll try and hold it up in front of the white background, you see it's got a really nice, uh, pretty dark, sherried color to it. However, there are two versions of the Balveni Sherry Cask. There's this one, which is the refill, and there's this one, which is a first fill. And if I can show these to you side by side in color here, you'll see that the refill is very dark. I mean, it's almost red. Like it, it's, you can't even see through it. it it's completely, um, it's basically the color of sherry. Uh, so the one I'm going to be reviewing today is the refill. Now, this has caused a lot of confusion because there's no way to know if you have the first fill or the refill without looking at the color. Uh, they don't label it on the bottle. They don't label it on the tin that it comes in, uh, nothing. So. Uh, just looking more a little bit at the tin, um, they have tasting notes. While no two casts will ever produce an identical single malt because of the careful sampling and selection of our malt master, Balvenny single barrel has a consistent character with rich, elegant oak, subtle spice, yeah, general nuttiness, and long shared finish. So they don't even really give you specific tasting notes, which I kind of like because I prefer to find those for myself. Um, and then they have a really cool like graphic here on the back. Uh, talking about like the cask and actually the names of the specific parts of casks and that kind of thing. Um, so all the information on this tin is relevant to the whiskey. Um, and contrast that with the video I did last week, I reviewed Highland Park Valkyrie, where all the information they give is about a story of Vikings and not relevant to the whiskey at all. So if you're going to have marketing material, um, on your bottle. I much prefer it to be about whiskey in some sense, um, whether it's the process or the whiskey itself or the casks used, anything like that, it's fantastic. Um, so we're going to go ahead and taste this. And like all Balvenies, you've got this nice wood cork up top, which I like. And got a really nice color here. It's about, um, I would say, it's about the same color as like a Macallan 12 year old, um, maybe a touch darker. And I should clarify for you, this is cast number 11,319, bottle number 282. So probably you're not gonna find the same cast number um, since there's only 650 bottles of each, that'd be very unlikely, uh, but it's possible. So, this is Balvenie 15 single barrel sherry cask refill. Um, and I do, I really wish they stated refill or first fill because this was dark enough. I thought it was the first fill the first time I bought it. And then I saw the first fill version and realized, no, this is, I got the refill originally. Um, let's go ahead and see how this smells.
So this is definitely a fully sherry cask matured whiskey. Um, the note, the the nose here is rich sherry um, with some raisins, but there's definitely the distillery characteristic is still present. So there's there's oranges and honey coming through just a little bit. You really have to get your nose in there for the honey. And there's wonderful oak spices. Um, this this reminds me of like a Christmas cake or a fruit cake. Um, there's a little bit of vanilla. Yeah, this is and yeah, there's definitely a touch of orange. It's very, very subtle. Um, if I didn't know that uh, Balvenies tend to have that honey kind of orange flavor, I may not be able to notice it. Um, if I wasn't looking for it, I wouldn't notice it. So let's see how it tastes. Rich. Um, mouth-wateringly good. This is I'm getting dark chocolate coming through. I'm getting those dark, dark fruits from the sherry. Um, almost like cherry. Um, the spice is coming back. It's definitely like a like nutmeg. Um, yeah, but it, yeah, it's a little bit of nutmeg coming through. Um, a little bit of the honey coming back and definitely some orange. So very complex whiskey. Um, this, this is really, really smooth for being 48% ABV almost, I think. Yeah. 47.8% ABV. So this is very, very smooth. Can't even smell the alcohol on the nose. Mm. Wow, this is this is really a good one. Um, the finish is really really long too. So the uh, we often talk about like the flavor starting as one thing and going into another thing, and that's not really true. The flavor's always all there at once, um, but really what happens is your brain can only process when you're when you're looking for certain flavors, process them in a certain order. So it's kind of the things that stand out to you the most first, but certainly on the finish of a whiskey can be different than how it tastes in your mouth because um, the different chemicals in it uh, are gonna stick to your mouth and your throat and your tongue differently, uh, and it's gonna impact different parts of your tongue as that residual flavor's there. And uh, if you ever look at like the parts of your tongue and how they taste flavors, uh, you taste different flavors with different parts of your tongue. So. The, the flavor's not technically changing uh, in terms of the whiskey, the flavor's changing in terms of your perception of it. Um, but th this is really, really good. Now, this retails for about 100 to $120. And I'm going to say, if you find this for $100, this is A+. Uh, this is excellent whiskey, and at $100, I think it's really good value compared to what you're getting from just about any other distillery at that price. Um, I, I really think this is fantastic. Now at $120, um, it does, it's not quite like just buy it, you know, impulse buy, um, because you start getting really close to some things like Highland Park 18, um, the Balvenie 17 Doublewood, you know, th th there's more competition there, but at $100, uh, this is A plus at 120. You know, it's an A. It doesn't get that little plus for the value, um, but hands down, this is excellent whiskey. This is basically as good um, as a sherried whiskey gets um, in terms of balance until you start getting, you know, to some really old stuff um, that that's just like sublime. You know, th this within within most people's price range of what's ever going to be affordable, this is basically as good as it gets. Um, if you're someone that's been looking at like maybe buying a Macallan 18 year old and that $200 
mark really scares you, just buy two of these. It's so good. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, I do new videos every week and sometimes more than that. So make sure you pick up the uh, Belvini single barrel and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below if you have had it already. Um, but I know I'm definitely going to be finishing this class. Cheers.